Okay, and this is how I use Snapseed to put a different background. So I'll open up Snapseed, and then from here I'll go into Open, and then I'm going to choose this picture. Okay, once you have this, the main picture uploaded, you're going to click the little pen right here, or the pencil, and then you're going to click double exposure down here. So you click that, and then you click down here, open image, and then you're going to choose whatever background you want. So this one, I just picked um, a gray background. I just got it off of Google, screenshot it, cropped it, saved it to my photos. And so that's what I'm uploading as uh, my new background picture. So from here, you're gonna click transparency and you're gonna bring it all the way, all the way up. Okay, so this is gonna be your new background color. And then click the check mark. Now from here, you're gonna go up to the little top where it has, oops, where it has the two squares and the arrow back. And it's gonna look a little bit different on your phone. This is on the iPad, so it's gonna be a little bit different on your phone. So you click that button, and then you're gonna hit View Edits. And then you're gonna click down here where it says Double Exposure again. And then click the little brush. Okay, so from here, you can enlarge the picture again, and then start going around it. Like that. And then, of course, you can make it sharper once you get closer to, oops, to the subject or object. And if you notice right here how I've gotten I've gotten it a little bit on top like a shadow of the background on top of the the subject so what I do is I just go down to decrease and I bring it all the way to zero and then I zoom in and go over it I don't know if you can tell how it cleans it up and it brings back the original color see so you can oops you can do that if you make a mistake so now I'm gonna go back to the background and put so I can continue to put the background on so I'm gonna go back to increase to a hundred percent and then that'll bring me back to the background and then just going around the object and I don't know if this has another button to where you can just click on the background I'm not sure this is just how I like to do it because I feel like I can get it how I like it and also um, because I have the iPad I have my my little pencil so that makes it much easier to clean up the edges, but you can, before I had the iPad, I could, I'll just use my finger like that. there's the final image and then like I said I I just like to screenshot it and then crop it and 
then post it wherever you want. So that's how I use Snapseed to make the different backgrounds.